Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll be understanding what is likelihood and severity. So let's understand what is likelihood first. So likelihood is nothing but a probability of occurrence of hazardous event. So what is the probability of occurrence of hazardous event? And what are the chances are there by which this hazardous event may happen? Why I'm saying this? Because a hazard is only hazardous when exposure is there and when hazardous event is there. Hazard alone cannot harm to anyone until and unless exposure is there. So to cause hazardous event by a hazard, there must be exposure and there must be a hazardous event. Until and unless there is no hazardous event due to a hazard, it won't be causing harm to anyone. That's why I'm saying while considering the likelihood of a hazardous event, what are the characteristics we need to see? So we need to see first the what is the exposure of hazard? How persons, how many persons are exposed due to that particular hazard? With that basis, we can consider what is the likelihood level and what is what are the chances of happening of that particular hazardous event. So let's understand this term with an example. If there is a chemical which is toxic in nature or which is corrosive or which is irritant, it will not be harming to anyone until and unless there is exposure and hazardous event. So what will be the hazardous event? Inhalation of that chemical or ingestion of that particular chemical or contact with skin to that particular chemical. This is the hazardous event. But when I'm going to consider what is the likelihood of inhalation of that chemical, that will be decided with what is the exposure level. If five persons are working near to that chemical area or where the particular chemical is stored, then the likelihood of ingestion, inhalation or contact with that skin to that particular chemical is high. If there is no person at all in the room and chemical is kept alone safely in a lock-in chamber or lock-in uh, area, then the exposure is very less or remote and likelihood of ingestion of that hazard or contact with that skin is also very minimum or very less I can say. So there is very remote probability in this particular case if there is no person available at all in the chemical stored area. In the same case, if I talk about the severity, the severity is nothing but the impact of harm. How serious the injury is or how serious the harm is. So what is the level of harm in case this hazardous event happen and person get exposed to that particular hazard. So, in case of this particular same condition, when a person is coming in the contact area of chemical and if he inhale the chemical, if that chemical falls into his skin, then this is the hazardous event. Due to this hazardous event, what will be the consequences? The chemical may harm to that person in terms of ill health or sickness. The same chemical may, if it is corrosive, then his skin may get burn injuries. If the same chemical is toxic, then the same chemical may harm to the person in terms of fertility also. So it all depends. What is the exposure? It means what is the likelihood? If so many persons are there, likelihood is always high. If there is no person at all and control measures are there with that particular hazard, then there won't be a hazardous event. And there will be very remote probability of occurrence of that particular hazardous event. 
So in this particular case, if we calculate the likelihood and severity both, so that will always depend on what is the exposure limit. And what is the exposure limit and how many persons are available in the particular area who are exposed to this particular chemical. So in this case, when we will be calculating the risk, we need to see at both the terms, what is the likelihood of occurrence of the hazardous event and what is the severity of harm. So that all decides with particular hazard assessment technique and for that when we are going to consider that this risk is high, low or medium that always depend by uh, what is the uh, probability and what is the severity. So probability and severity both are calculated by using a risk assessment matrix. So risk assessment matrix is nothing but a uh, a matrix of two terminologies, the one is likelihood and second one is severity. So at the left side or right side we have uh, the likelihood range ranging from 1 to 5 or 1 to 4 which says remote, minimum, likely, very likely or highly likely and same we have the severity, very minimum, medium or high injury or MTC case, first aid, first aid case or fertility case. So by likewise, we have distributed the severity levels also. So with this matrix, when we are going to have or calculating the risk level, we need to see what is the likelihood level and what is the severity level. So when we match both the terms in the risk assessment matrix, we get a number which may be quantitative or qualitative. So that we will be understanding in the next topic, what is the risk assessment matrix and how, what are the terminologies, qualitative risk assessment, quantitative risk assessments. So that we will be learning in that particular topic area. But just to be conscious about this terminology, what is the likelihood and severity and how we need to put both the terms while considering the risk assessment that we all need to learn. So by following a risk assessment matrix, we can calculate the risk level. So in this today's topic, we already have learned about what is the likelihood and how the likelihood is affected, what is the severity and how it is considered. Thank you so much for watching this video.